Welcome to lesson one on how to write in pseudocode. So we are going to be working with the AQA guidance here, and this may help some of you who are revising. Now I'm just going to sort out the focus so that you've got a better view there. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to do some simple basic code, and we're just going to practice writing getting some input and outputting that on the screen. Now, whereas when you are coding with Python, you will find that to do that coding, a lot of the time, you have to, you will have done something like uh, name equals Mr. Chambers. And then you may have done something along the lines of print Your name is speech marks plus name. And that will concatenate that. Now, just a reminder, if you are working in pseudocode, all you're going to need to do is you're going to, again, declare your variable. So this is an example of Python. And here is an example of pseudocode. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to say name is assigned, and we use an arrow to do that. Name is assigned Mr. Chambers. And we are going to write output. Your name is plus name. And that's how we would output that in pseudocode. Now, one thing to pay close attention to here is how to tell whether something is a string or a float or an integer. These speech marks here, these speech marks tell us that we are working with a data type known as a string, which is a group of characters, or alphanumeric characters, I should say. So you can see here, even the space in the middle counts as one of those. So just be aware of that, because I'm going to do a simple program here now, which does the age. So we're going to say Python. I'm going to give you the example of Python, where what I might do is say age is equal to, let's say, 37. Now, if I want to include that in a sentence, I'm going to need to cast it. So what I would need to do is age equals int age. In fact, str. Because by default, because I've not got any speech marks around it, this is an integer. I want to convert it to a string. So what I can do here is cast it and do the conversion. Now, what this allows me to do is do print, all right, and we're going to say you are plus age plus years old. Now that's a Python example, and the reason why we need to cast it and change the data type is that if you've got a string, you cannot put a string and an integer together in the same output. So we have to cast it and convert it. Now what that looks like in pseudocode, just so you've got an example,
So I'm going to show you age is allocated 37. Age equals int to string. And in brackets, I'm going to put age. So when you're converting different data types, you say what it was originally and what it's going to. So you could have int to string. You could have string to int, int to real, string to real. So there's lots of difference. And I, I think you should refer to the AQA pseudo guide to explore more of those options. So we've got the age here at 37, int to string. So it's now a string. And now I can output u r plus age plus years old. And that joins all of that output together. So that's just your introduction on using different data types to get some input and remember that this symbol means assignment and this example here int to string is for casting and that's your first video